Among the various medical activities that are established across the globe, a group of doctors, dentists, optometrists, and pharmacists dedicated their time and professions to aid the orphans and widows of Karbala city. Adam, the manager and organizer of this medical campaign, stated during a brief interview that their movement began in the holy city of Najaf, where they visited several orphanages. The group finally arrived at the holy city of Karbala, where they initiated their humanitarian activities at the Relief and Development Foundation in the holy city. Dr. Mulafari stated that the motive behind this campaign is to raise awareness amongst the less fortunate segments of the Iraqi society as well as to medically treat the orphans and widows of the displaced citizens who were victims of the terrorist activities of ISIS. It is also interesting to mention that besides their medical work, the campaign headed towards the father of freedom, Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, to perform the rituals at his holy shrine. Numerous staff indicated that their dedication emanated from the sacrifice of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him. However, Adam concluded that this will not be their last visit to the holy city of Karbala. As a matter of fact, they will plan to organize similar humanitarian activities in the near future. My name is Adam. I'm a pharmacist by profession and I came to Karbala to serve the orphans. Not just orphans and widows as well. We've been given this amazing opportunity and I myself have been given an opportunity to manage all of the healthcare professionals which came with us. With us we have a number of healthcare areas which we, we, we specialize in. For example we have opticians, dentists, doctors and pharmacists as well as all of those staff we have a number of staff who actually have nothing to do with healthcare, but have purely come to help serve and they help us with administration, so for example paperwork and even managing the, 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 the long queues we have here so that we're able to see each and every single patient and deliver an appropriate and high quality service to each one. What inspires me to come here as a servant of Aba Abdullah, of Amir al muminin of Abu al-Fadl Abbas is that the Iraqi people are so hospitable. For example, take, take a couple of years back when I came to Arba'in. I walked from Najaf to Karbala and everywhere I went, I was offered so much service, whether it was food, drink. I was not short for anything. I was offered a massage. These people who are in Iraq have such a soft heart and are so and unfortunately are so unable at the minute to help themselves that when we are invited, we should grab this opportunity with both hands. I leave you with one message. If you're watching this and you're an able-bodied person, please, please, please approach World Without Barriers to come and to sit with us and to come to Iraq and to serve these people who are in dire need of help. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is uh, Dr. Shibet Tijani. I'm one of the GPs here with a group of us, a group of volunteers who've come from the UK. Um, and we're a group called World Without Barriers. We have, alhamdulillah, with us four doctors, um, eight dentists, and three optometrists. And we've got, we got to Iraq on the 31st of March, and we're here until tomorrow, which will be the 10th of April, inshallah. Uh, since we've got here, we've tried to work in areas which is dealing with socially deprived people, especially the orphans, the widows, the refugees, those escaping from war, for example. So we came to Najaf to begin with, and we worked in a medical clinic there, which was specially set up for orphans, which was run by Sayyid Musavi. 
um, and we saw many, many patients over the course of three days there. A lot of problems such as congenital abnormalities, um, malnourishment, um, and a lot of very severe problems there. But the day after, we went to a place called Haydariya, which is in between Karbala and Najaf. Um, over there, we were running a clinic with very basic equipment, hardly anything. Uh, but the things we saw there were real eye-opener for us. So we don't really see things like that back in the United Kingdom because over there we have free healthcare, um, a lot of social support. So for pr people with problems with mobility and things in day-to-day -day life, we have social support for them. Over here, there's no such thing. So there's a lot of people here, a lot of orphans who are really unwell. So orphans with heart problems who couldn't afford treatment for it. Without the treatment, they would die. So we had to organize treatment for that. Um, orphans with things like cleft lip who couldn't you know, take food in, uh, pay, children with things like cerebral palsy, severe neurological problems. Um, so we try to treat them, find a way to refer them on and Alhamdulillah since we arrived in Karbala on Monday we've had three days at this school, the Asadat school which is only for orphans, so boys and girls uh, who are orphans and Alhamdulillah whilst we've been here we've seen hundreds and hundreds of students um, and we've treated them, talked to them, got an idea of what sort of needs they have. There's still a lot of work to be done here, but we've made huge strides in the last uh, few days that we've been here. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we have a good group of pharmacists with us um, and a good group of uh, other members of staff who can help us with admin. So things like logistical problems we can take care of. So inshallah, we hope to come back year after year and inshallah, improve upon what we've set up already. Uh, and until then, inshallah, we pray that there's some continuity of care as well. Assalamu alaikum. I'm uh, Mohammed Mazafri. I'm here from the dental department of a World Without Barriers uh, medical dental team. Alhamdulillah, we have been here on Ziyara and uh, healthcare trip uh, to Iraq over the past 10 days. Alhamdulillah, we've been based between Najaf, Haidariya, between Najaf and Kalbala and Kalbala. Um, over the course of the 11 days, uh, the dental team has seen between five and 600 different patients. Alhamdulillah, we've been able to treat acute problems such as dental decay, uh, gum disease, uh, loose teeth, severe dental pain and as well as being able to educate both young and old people about dental decay, about the causes of ill health and the causes of rotten teeth to help provide the education they need to help themselves out of this continual cycle of decay and pain. So Alhamdulillah overall we've seen probably between healthy and unhealthy patients I would say between 750 and 1000 people um, and we've made a little mark um, to help the Aitan, the widows, the orphans, the victims of Daesh and the victims of terrorism here in, in Kalbala, in Najaf and in Haidariya. And we hope insha'Allah that uh, uh, and with the tawfiq of Abba Abdullah al Hussein that we can come back inshallah in a couple of months and a few more times this year to continue serving and to continue giving back to these very important people that Allah wishes us to help. And it's truly our honor to serve these people in Iraq and to serve Khalqullah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Hassanain Bandali. I'm from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Alhamdulillah, we've been uh, blessed uh, to visit Iraq several times in the past, but this is the first time that uh, we have actually come to do some charity work. And Alhamdulillah, it's a very good initiative uh, because uh, I think uh, it's something that we should have done a long time ago, but nevertheless, we have done it this time. And inshallah, we hope this is going to be a stepping stone. And inshallah, with all the publicity that uh, we are planning to do uh, once we are back in the UK, inshallah, we are hoping that we're going to get a lot more volunteers that are going to come to help this place, especially in Iraq, considering it's uh, the place that we all love to come, uh, all the followers of the Ahlul Bayt. And alhamdulillah, uh, we managed to see quite a lot of people, but it's just a drop in the ocean. So we're hoping that uh, more people will come to do service and we are very privileged to be here uh, because we are, we, are, we are treating and we are looking after the orphans and the widows and that is what uh, our beloved master Ali ibn Abi Talib used to do. So we are absolutely honored 
and we thank the Almighty Allah to, for giving us the opportunity to be able to, to be of service uh, in whatever little way that was possible. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.